Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be learning about Jenkins users. How can you create users? How can you delete one? And how can you use the role-based strategy plugin to define the permission for individual users? So let's get started. So here I have my Jenkins server up and running and to add a user, you have to go to the manage Jenkins and here you have to look for the tab users, which is right here. So click on users tab and as you click on users tab, you will see this option to create users. Now in the current screen, you can see uh, on the top, it is saying that Jenkins own user database. It means all the users are being created inside the server database itself. There is nothing coming from uh, anywhere else. But in some cases, organizations have their LDAP configuration set up in the Jenkins. So you will not be seeing this create user options there. We will be going in that LDAP configuration as well. But for now, let's create a user. Just hit the button. Let's say a username will be test and password will be test underscore jenkins full name let's say test user and email will be test at the rate jenkins.com for example so this is how you create a user in jenkins just hit the create button provide the information and you are good to go now to remove it user from jenkins of course you have to hit the delete button it will ask you to remove the same as you hit yes it will delete the user for that so that's pretty much about how you can create user and delete user in jenkins it's pretty basic now uh, let's move towards managing the permission of users and of course for those I will be requiring a, another user so let me create one so I have recreated the user now let's go back to the Jenkins so why do we need these permissions I mean so let's say your team has a new intern and uh, your Jenkins is doing something which is pretty serious or pretty critical task you do not want them to given all the permission because they might delete something or might do some changes which will uh, break your pipelines so there are many other reasons of course for the permissions management but that's a basic example so for doing that we need a plugin named as role based strategy authentication which basically is responsible for managing all the permissions so if you do not know how to install a plugin you can check out the previous video it will be visible somewhere here or here in the i button so manage jenkins plugins uh, in the available search for role based strategy select the plugin and install it so to verify the same just go to install and search for role base and it is available here so before moving towards uh, setting the role uh, plugin let's check out how can you configure your LDAP configuration in the Jenkins so again go to the dashboard go to manage Jenkins and look for the option security uh, if i scroll it down ah uh, here it is security and here uh, i have basically these options uh, that which realm should i use so here i can select ldap or i have any other database uh, for the user management so if i hit the ldap button here it will ask me for the server and all the other configurations so you can ask your organization IT team they can help with all these information in our case it will be of course Jenkins managed database now from here we can also enable the role based strategy and for that in the authorization section you have to select role based strategy this basically give you features to uh, create roles and assign those roles to the users there are other strategy as well metrics based and all those things but uh, we will be talking about role based strategy only for this one and these are some other security configurations which we will be uh, talking later on further videos so let's save this so, so far we have added the users now we have more than one user in our jenkins we can try to log in with that as well so i'm logged out test underscore jenkins is equal keep me login and here you see i have the test user and i can still perform almost everything by changing the permission and everything now let's move towards setting the roles and uh, the user permissions so for that first we have to go to the manage jenkins and if we scroll a little down you will see i am getting this option to manage and assign roles, which wasn't earlier here so as i hit on manage and assign roles i will be able to see this user interface here we have a few roles already created for us which are basically global 
roles item roles and uh, agent roles and all these things and these are the permissions which these roles have by default of course there's an admin role as well and the second tab we have the assigned roles which basically is a tab from where you can attach users to the roles and here you can see the test user is already attached to the admin role now uh, i can click here and add other users as well to it so as per the table you can see the admin role is assigned only to the test user so let's try to log in with user vipin and see what permission that user have so see as i log in with user vipin it says that there is no overall permission given to this user so i cannot do anything in this jenkins server so let's log out from this user and log in back with the test one see now i can see everything so so let's make these changes and assign some role to the vipin user as well so again back to manage jenkins look for manage and assign roles and again we are familiar with this tab we are familiar with this tab as well so i can click here and type that this will be the username vipin which will be assigned to the admin role as i hit ok you can see it has already fetched the name from the database and if i check this now the user vipin will also be having the admin role so let's validate that let me save this one first log out and let's log in with vipin user and you can see now i can see all the jokes and everything other feature which we have in this plugin is like i can set up these type of a templates so i can create these templates and i can let's say test template and i can uh, set up that these are the permission which should be allocated with this template and all those things so you can also create a macros these are kind of some additional rules which you can set up for individual users mostly not required in most of the cases so now let's create a, another specific role and for again to create a role i have to go back to the manage roles tab and uh, let's say test role and add it so now i have another role created as test role and this role can only let's say uh build a job it is not allowed to cancel a job it is not allowed to delete a job it is not allowed to move read or do anything with the job it is not allowed to basically do anything with the jenkins agent it is not allowed to touch the credentials and uh, let's give him the read access to our role because otherwise it he won't be able to even see the jokes so let's save it and let's go back to the assigned role now see let's remove the admin role from test user and give him the test role which we just created as i hit the save button now let me log out let's log in with test user now you see i have a the access to uh, view everything but see i am not able to see the manage jenkins tab here because it is this user is not allowed to have that if i click on the job i uh, only have the option to build it i do not have any option to let's say move the job rename the same or to do anything with this one. yep so that's pretty much about how you can add your own users how you can do the ldap configuration and how you can create your own role and assign those role to the users so that's pretty much for this video see you in the next one thanks for watching